Journal prompts are a really great way to level up your journaling and they also can be really helpful to just give you some ideas if you don't know what to write about. I know a lot of you guys like using journal prompts for the new year or just really any time throughout the year, so I thought I'd make another video where I include 31 different journal prompts that you can use for every single day of January. You also don't need to use them every single day, you can use them every so often, every other day, once a week, once a month, whatever works best for you. I'll include timestamps in the description and in a pinned comment just so that you can easily access each journal prompt whenever you come back to this video without having to like like watch the whole thing back through. I do plan on uploading each prompt individually as an Instagram reel and a YouTube short. So if that works better for you, then you can just look at that. But I also wanted to offer this video with all of the journal prompts in case you're the kind of person that likes to like plan them out ahead or if you wanted to kind of just like choose one of the different prompts of all of the 31 and kind of mix and match because maybe a certain prompt isn't really your vibe for the day and you want to choose something else and then come back to that prompt later. Whatever floats your boat. Anyway, I have the prompts written down. I'm just going to read them off and I'll also like put them up on the screen so that you can read them. Feel free to also answer some of your favorite ones in the comments down below. I feel like these are really, really good for just self-development. I'm really excited to hear what some of your answers are. Number one, outline your hopes and predictions for the upcoming year. Number two, reflect on the most significant lesson you learned in the past year and how you plan to apply it in 2024. Number three, describe the qualities and characteristics you want to embody in 2024. What steps can you take today to align your actions with that vision? Number four, explore the theme of balance. How will you balance work, personal life, and self-care in 2024? Number five, list three things you are grateful for from the past year and why they brought positivity into your life. Number six, consider the impact of physical health on well-being. What habits can you adopt to support your overall physical health? Number seven, think about your time management skills. How can you optimize your time more to focus on activities that align with your goals? Number eight, think about your digital habits. What changes can you make to ensure a healthier relationship with technology in 2024? Number nine, reflect on a time when you felt truly happy. What were the circumstances and how can you invite more of that into your life? Number 10, Consider your daily routine. What activities or habits contribute positively to your day and which ones do not? Number 11, explore the theme of forgiveness. Is there someone you need to forgive, including yourself, for a past mistake or hurt? Number 12, reflect on a time when you successfully managed stress. What techniques did you use and how can you integrate them into your regular stress management routine? Number 13, consider your self-talk. Are there any negative patterns and how can you reframe them to be more positive? Number 14, explore a fear that holds you back. What steps can you take to overcome or mitigate this fear? Number 15, write about a passion or hobby that brings you joy. How can you prioritize and integrate this into your routine? Number 16, reflect on your goals. Are they ambitious enough or could you push yourself further? What adjustments can you make to set more challenging goals? Number 17, explore the concept of self-compassion. How can you cultivate a more compassionate and understanding attitude towards yourself during challenging times? Number 18, describe a time when you felt truly confident. What factors contributed to this confidence and how can you recreate it? Number 19, consider a relationship that is important to you. How can you strengthen and nurture this relationship? Number 20, think about your ideal day. What activities, routines, or environments contribute to your well-being and happiness? Number 21, reflect on your response to failure. How can you view failure as a valuable learning experience rather than a reflection of your worth? Number 22, explore your ideal career or life path. What steps can you take to move closer to this vision? Number 23, think about a role model or mentor. What qualities do they possess and how can you incorporate those qualities into your own life? Number 24, describe a situation where you acted with kindness. How can you make kindness a more intentional part of your daily interactions? Number 25, explore mindfulness practices. How can incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine contribute to a more resilient mind? Number 26, describe a challenging situation you faced recently. How did you handle it and what did you learn from the experience? 
Number 27, list three things you are grateful for today. How can you express and cultivate gratitude regularly? Number 28, identify a habit you want to implement into your life. What small consistent actions can you take daily to build this habit? Number 29, consider the power of mindset. How can adopting a growth mindset contribute to unlocking your full potential? Number 30, identify areas in your life where you feel a sense of purpose. How can you expand and incorporate that purpose into other aspects of your life? Number 31, reflect on a recent accomplishment that made you proud. What skills did you use and how can you apply them more in your life? Those are all of the 31 prompt ideas. If you want more prompt ideas, I've made a ton of different journaling prompt videos on my channel. I'll link the playlist down below in case you're interested and wanna check them out. Feel free to comment some of your answers to any of these prompts if you'd like. I really do hope that these prompts are helpful for you. Give this video a thumbs up if they were and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.